Howdy, grounded guys and gals, and welcome back to another grounded video. Today, we're going over the final defense. How, in my opinion, is the best way to build it out? Uh, tips and tricks I have so you can beat the regular game and all of the new game pluses going forward. So, first things first, you gotta boom, blast open the thing, install the cartridge, the embiggening cell. Shut up, Wendell. Boom. Next up, we will install the goop in here. Berry leather, koi fish, gum nuggets, toenail, and grilled sides. Beautiful sound, beautiful sound. Then the next thing you need to do is fail. If it is the first time you're playing grounded, this is your first final defense, you need to fail first. No matter what you do, you always have to fail. You have to kill these bugs that are attacking the mixer modules and then prepare them up. After speaking totally again, you'll get access to his job mag storage facility just underneath here in this little hole and down at the bottom. Uh, there are some beds you can set your spawn at also you know, man figurine, uh, but tons of materials that you can just grab on up to help build out the final defense. So many things for you to take. After you're done looting all that, it's time to start building. When you're starting to build the final defense, there's a couple of things to consider is defense, which is above my head for every uh, building item has a mountain defense, uh, but then also the cost it will take to actually get the materials and build out of it. Uh, burr, for example, is got a lot more defense than grass, but grass is just so much easier to come by. Now, floors are not as necessary for the final defense. They are still needed, and but you'll be using a lot more walls. Technically, ash buildings have the highest defense, but it takes a while to craft ash cement because ash cement is ash cement is crafted with charcoal ash, clay, and rust. So those are more things you'd have to farm up. And charcoal ashes ever char coal chunks. In my opinion, the best are going to be mushroom walls. Specifically, the full mushroom walls. We're going to try to avoid using some of the half because it's a considerably less amount of uh, defense. So mushroom walls don't just have high defense. They're also very easy to get right next to the final defense. There's a whole bunch of mushrooms and each one of the uh, red mushrooms grind up to 10 mushroom slurry and the other mushrooms are six. And all it takes is five slurry to produce four bricks and you can get so much so quickly. But when you're building the final defense, there are a couple areas you need to consider. Obviously, you have to protect these big pink things. You have this little valley here. This one barely gets anything. A couple dust mites, so a couple walls here are good. Down in this corner, there will be a lot of ants that'll be coming up. All of these uh, cords, you're gonna need to block off a lot of those sections. For some reason, I always get like ants that come in right here from somewhere. I'm not sure if they just spawn down here, jump down, or somehow sneak around here. Uh, but be careful in this corner right here. Uh, next up, a lot of ants will be coming this way. So this is always a good place to put some walls. Down here, they'll have a couple of uh, bugs trying to get up this way and same on the other side. And of course, don't forget to block off more of these cords because that's just another way they can get across. Now to build these, I like to start off with a mushroom brick wall about right here. And because they're all a little bit different, this one I'm gonna go up two four, put in a nice little curved wall, curved wall. Uh, one straight piece right here, then another curved, and then another straight. Then finish it off with another curved. And because sometimes I get little gaps under here, we're gonna put another curved underneath that. I know it's a full piece under there, but uh, the bugs will attack on this little area here. You don't want them to give them little gaps. Now, ideally, I would only want to put a half wall here uh, because I'm putting a floor on top of this, but because this is a little bit tilted up, that's what I'm gonna do right now just to make sure that it is completely covered. Next up, we're gonna start filling this area up with grass. Now, yes, grass is definitely weaker than the other materials that you could use, but it's so plentiful and we're not gonna need too much defense right here. And there we go, we filled up this area. And then on top of this, we're gonna add a couple of these smaller mushroom walls just to protect against any bugs that fly in that are gonna be attacking this. Uh, because we're also going to put another floor on top of this. There we go. Now we're going to start putting some more grass on top of this and place some half walls up here just to secure this top area. That way you can be up here and you're fighting and things like that. You have a little bit more protection before they can get down to this area. That's mainly to protect against flyers. So we're going to turn a mushroom brick wall here, put out one right here, 
get rid of this or you leave it, whichever you want to. And we're going to go around this thing one more time. And if you got any gaps underneath it, don't forget to put some brick walls down there because you don't want the thing to collapse just because a couple bugs snuck on up and chewed on some of these supporting pieces. And of course, in order to get up here, we're gonna need some stairs. So we'll also, I'm so glad they added mushroom stairs. That, I'm so very glad. Um, put some mushroom stairs down here so that you can run up this side and we're going to repeat this on the other side. Boom. That way you can get up here if you need to, find off any flyers and then survey the area, look where you need to go and then go to that next area. Now, of course, you can make this top layer uh, burr just to be a little bit stronger. You can add another layer here if you would want to, like so, uh, just to give yourself another little running room. Um, I do find that these walls will get taken out pretty quickly. Uh, the downside of having grass here is that, uh, I mean, it's, it's pretty weak and it probably is going to get destroyed and it's just going to have more things on the ground to lower your FPS when you're fighting everything else. So we'll just go ahead and build these out. So one straight, one curved, one straight, one curved, then one straight. Now this one is lower to the ground. So we're able to get away with a uh, half walls here just to give it a little more height because we're going to go on top of this with grass, of course, just like that. And now we're going to, of course, top it with the half walls and you can make a big crisscross if you want to uh, just to protect against any flyers to get through. That's the only thing it's really going to be designed for is if any flyers get through the top layer that they will have to then get through this layer to get to that layer. So that's just it's just delaying at this point. So now that we're at the top, of our two layers, we're going to put up some more half walls. So now we're going to build the exterior wall. And as a reminder, you don't need to keep the same level uh, when you're building it because you want to be able to jump over it, drop it down. Well, not too low, about right there. And then go around the whole thing. And it's going to be three and three. So three straight curve, three straight curve, three straight curve, etc. All the way around. And you can leave this here once again if you want to. Up to you. There we go. And then, of course, we're going to go back with stairs. Beautiful, both sides. There we go, we can easy access both sides. And now for the final one. This one can be a little bit wonky. So start on a side, put down your blueprint so that you can at least get a guess on if it will work and uh, won't have any conflicts when building this. Because the last thing you wanna do is put it in wrong and have a wonky defense. That won't help at all. And any of these little bits down here, we're gonna seal this up. Now for this one, I did opt to put stairs down the side, uh, not just the front and back. And you can do that with each one of them. It to make it a little bit easier just to run around uh, to different areas. Now, the final thing I wanna note about these three is that for some reason over here, I always get red ants. I don't know if they somehow sneak down, they jump down or what. Uh, they'll always kind of come over here. So I've been starting to add uh, some extra defenses here. I mean, nothing really special, just like another little pin or something, just to kind of give it a little bit extra defense. And of course, these are full walls that I've buried and you want to bury them so that you can at least jump over them, but you get that full defense. So a lot of people will put half walls out because of course they fit a little bit better. Put the full wall. It's just four bricks compared to two. It gives you a lot more defense, which gives you a lot more time. And the way you would do that, especially for all of these areas over here, is place regular wall down and then get low with it. You can go ahead and get rid of one of them, of course. And now you have a full wall that gives you full defense that you can jump over. Cause that was the biggest thing. If you put the wall too high, you can't get over it quick enough to fight and then run back to the other side. And for these, I, I've not run into too many on this side, but I usually just stick with a three and three on any of these walls, just like that, that way you can jump over it. And on this one, because I'm gonna be testing it, um, I wanna see if I can go vertical or just that way. Uh, so you can run between them and if the bugs will uh, aggro there. So we're gonna try that down over here because I wanna see if that could be the, well, the better play after all, because I've not tried it. Uh, normally in the file defense, it's just, you know, I've already have it built out and it's like, oh, okay, I've already done it. So I, you know, why, why redo it now? Uh, so we're gonna see if this will work. Uh, usually they will start here anyway. Uh, so we'll see if they just ignore all the uh, preparations or if they uh, start attacking the walls. Hopefully they'll start attacking the walls. And so in my normal playthroughs, this is what I would have. Something you can jump down, smash, smash, and then you run back. Uh, of course, you have to <laughs> jump over these little bits. Um, but then you go up and down both sides, attacking as you can. Now over here on this right side, I always like to put a couple of mushroom walls. One right here. 
Uh, but this is more of just a stopping them from getting over here. And then I put one right here, just to once again, make sure if they do get across that I have a way to stop them from getting over here because it can get pretty hectic. And on this side, we're doing the same thing. We have the walls low enough so we can run back afterward fighting some enemies. And of course, up here, we're gonna block it the same way we did it on the other side. We're gonna go up here first to block it because they will sometimes come up this way. And we're gonna place them down here as well, just to stop them if they do make it across here. And so on this side, I just put another layer of mushroom bricks. I just do one on this side. Uh, ants like to come this way, etc. but it's not too bad. And I just have a little area for me to jump across. Like so. Now you will be getting flyers, etc., And you can build like kind of a tall wall here to kind of uh, help drag them in, etc., and hit this before they get there. It's up to you what you want to do for that. Um, if you do something like this, uh, I would also recommend some mushroom stairs so you have kind of a step at the very top. And you might need this on some of the new game pluses, but yeah, just something up here so you can get actually to uh, the creatures that are flying, smack them and stuff like that. And that way you don't have to at least uh, try to jump and hit them if they're too high. Another little trick is to place a couple of um, mushroom brick walls that are kind of hanging over the edge here because some of the uh, bugs will aggro these. And then as if these are all destroyed, we'll come around this side, kind of keeping them from over here. It is up to you. It's really like once you get to new game plus two, three, four, et cetera, when you get higher, things like this will be more necessary just because the bugs can be infused and they really can do some damage really quickly. And for the final touch of defenses, once again, I don't recommend putting uh, half walls and you can put them everywhere you want to, uh, but you could just put like full walls and just bury them a little bit. Uh, if you I mean, give you the same look, but for a lot more defense, once again, let's take a look at that defense. So we have the full wall and the half wall, less than half, it, it feels like in terms of defense. And so that just, in my opinion, is just so much better or more valuable than having uh, just the half walls that will break a little bit too quickly. Uh, I mean, it's just two more bricks and realistically, you could just place them out randomly just to give a little more uh, distraction, just to kind of litter the whole area. Also, uh, there is of course a, uh, in the little storage area, a place where you can set your spawn, but it is a little bit far away. I do recommend building a small little base. In fact, if you're going to be making uh, mushrooms and stuff like that, building a little base with all the grinders and the ovens over here is pretty efficient, uh, especially when you're collecting the grass, etc. You can have all that stuff cooking away, but building a little base so you can have your respawn and a chest is important. The reason why you want a chest is so you can keep on hot dropping while you're fighting. Uh, things are gonna get destroyed. Mushroom bricks are gonna fall the bugs will start dropping stuff and you're gonna to wanna to pick those up uh, because the, the more and more bugs there are, the more things get destroyed, more things on the ground, it's going to start lagging a little bit. So you're gonna to wanna to pick things up as you can and then hot drop or just um, or just drop things off whenever you have a free moment. That way you don't have to worry about FPS drops while you're fighting. So placing a chest there, but then also I usually have a like nice little extra chest over here and I'll fill this chest with uh, some of the uh, bug stuff uh, just so that I know I can hot drop it in the middle of a fight. Now for the regular uh, game, you probably can get away with just one inventory uh, filling up with stuff. But for New Game Plus and beyond, you're definitely going to need um, chest because all the crinkles and waffles and cones you'll be getting from the fight, you want to be able to hot drop things away so you can actually keep on picking things up and those things won't just litter all over the ground. So there you go. This is my opinion what the best defense is for the final defense. I know it works well on WoW mode for the regular game and on New Game Plus 1 and 2, and we're gonna be going to New Game Plus 3. No, sorry, no, I'm sorry, we've already done three. Uh, we're going to New Game Plus 4 uh, tonight, uh, so we'll be doing it live, but also I'll go ahead and show you the final defense. We'll speed through it, because again, it gets a little bit boring at times. But before we get into the final defense, and this will be on WoW mode, of course, uh, let me show you my loadout. So if you're not that good with pairing, I recommend going the uh, Mother Demon set is heavy armor, so it's gonna give you 30% resistance. But I'm gonna be trying the uh, Widow set here. Uh, it's gonna be a WoW mode. Uh, the death impetus from the Widow set is 150 health over 10 seconds, and I'm gonna be killing creatures like crazy, so I feel like I should be able to outlast any of the uh, DPS from the enemies. Trinkets, of course, Thor's is always good. Uh, Giddy Goop is really good. It puts a 15% uh, slow on movement and attack speed to enemies. For the weapon you want to use, uh, they are all orc controlled, so the acid edge is the best. It will be strong against them, but feel free to use whatever weapon you're more comfortable with. I do recommend making sure you eat before you do this as well. I'm gonna be eating Black Ox Burger for the health up. The damage resist is like negligible. 
Uh, spider slider is also good for the crit chance up. I will also be having my uh, aphid slippers and my widow leggings next to each other so I can swap between them pretty quickly. For mutations, we're gonna use choppers since we have the acid edge. Natural explorer, you'll be in and out of combat pretty often, so you're gonna wanna run pretty quick. Uh, cardio fan, just to help get that stamina back. And annihilator, there's gonna be tons of ants around. And guard dog, that's 50% up in your attack. So definitely uh, equipping that is gonna be good. You unlock that through doing all the mixers and the uh, Kultana. Let's eat our food and start. Let's, go. Let's see how well they behave with this. Hmm, so it does work some for you to do it uh, vertically, but they may uh, keep on wandering up. So I would recommend still sticking with the horizontal instead of the, well, I guess you call this vertical, but going across horizontal, I think will be better because they seem to want to walk up or sometimes they will get stuck. I think the larger creatures will get stuck uh, down here and attack here. So this may be good, at least for the ants who are pretty easy to take out. And so we're going to be swapping to our aphid slippers here and there. Just to give us a little bit more ability to sprint around. Who do we have? Oh, hello. But since I'm wearing Widow gear, I got to remember to at least have it on so I can get the death impetus effect, get that big healing. So a lot of guys coming this way. Take them out. And of course, uh, having, I mean, if you're solo, I don't, I mean, the time it takes to repair these things is kind of a long time. Uh, and right now between fights, you can uh, build and things like that, uh, unless you're being targeted. If you're being targeted, then you're, you can't build. So you can put down blueprints and then, uh oh put down blueprints and uh, build while you're in combat. Uh, all right, how am I gonna, oh, they're all coming down here. Of course they are, that's all right. Just need to kill something to get healing going. But if you're worried about your blocking, where did it go? Oh God, he went over there. Worry about your blocking. Heavy armor is probably more up your alley. So you do take quite a bit of damage, but with Death Impetus, I could just keep on healing, not too worried. You're supposed to die at the last one. Thank you. <laughs> Gold card. <laughs> nice. Okay, big boy coming in. Do we have anybody else attacking at the moment? No, I do hear. Oh, oh, I forgot about this guy over here. Hmm. All right, let's see if we can't take care of him. There we go. Big boy in. Walk to our assage. In a second, there it is. Come on. Damn it, there we go. He should be dizzy here in a second. What is he? Oh, he was dizzy the whole time. My apologies. I didn't see that. There it is. And got some more people over here. I mean, they you can't get away with ass edge for the whole fight, but there are a lot of enemies that are weak to meant. So I either or you can go through the whole fight with this weapon. It used to be the best in the backyard. Um, nowadays, I know people favor axes. We're almost halfway through here. Woe mode, regular game, not that big of a scare. New game plus onwards, one, two and three. It gets a little bit hairier, a little more dicey. Definitely build out a little bit more. And personally, it does feel like they've lowered the overall difficulty for the final defense. Uh, so all this building, I mean, a lot of this is going to be for uh, when you go to New Game Plus and stuff like that, just to have the infrastructure built out because you will need it because uh, everything's going to be exploding there. And if you just wanted to build just around these and uh, leave everything else off, that is probably perfectly fine for um, any pre-New Game stuff. Aha. Hello, friends. Dodge them. You didn't see that one coming, did you? Yeah, what are you going to do about it? Blocked you, slashed you. On the fourth one, go sleepy sleep. Couple more, you're gonna go permanent sleepy sleep. Here it comes, permanent sleepy sleep. Easy breezy. So normally I don't carry uh, repair hammers with me. If you have a lot more people with you, it may be worth it to have repair hammers just to kind of keep up the repairing mid fight, uh, especially if you start losing one side. And hot drop away. There we go. And if you don't like fighting, you can build enough to pr protect all this from uh, all the insects and beat this without even lifting a finger if you so desire. I've done it once in my previous playthrough. Ah, uh, let's greet these guys. 
There we go. Choppy, choppy. Nice and sleepy. Easy peasy. Now, if you want to increase your damage against some of the Black Ox Beetles, some of the tankier ones, you can touch the, uh, not the stuffy, but the mount uh, to give yourself, a, I believe, is either 20 25% uh, damage increase just to help speed through some of the tankier enemies. I think you're stuck in the pipe. Yeah, you are. Well, that's your mistake. Bye. I mean, so far, so good. Nothing's really even happened. Honestly, feel like they've changed the difficulty level and made it very easy just to get through the base game. And we're almost through. They've barely even been able to do anything. If you have multiple people playing with you, it does get a lot more hectic. There are more flyers, more things like that. But overall, the final defense isn't a really, really big challenge. And just like that, we are donezo. Donezo. <laughs> Easy peasy. Now we just have to wait for Wendell to finish talking, which he'll do a lot of. Yeah, there he is. Obviously, this is a little overbuilt for the regular game. You can get away with doing a lot less if you just wanted to build just around each one of these pieces. Uh, but when you ever you get to new game plus one, two, three, and four, you're getting a lot more uh, delay tactics because the bugs will be infused, they explode a lot, and you might die a little bit more often. We're gonna be doing new game plus three final defense tonight, and I think I might turn on woe mode. So let's just see how it goes. Golly. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Uh -huh. 